Westbury Language Center, we believe that people learn languages best, whether they be children, adults, middle schoolers, high school um, kids, when they are immersed in the language. So our approach to teaching is what's called natural approach, which means that every teacher endeavors to um, create lessons that are presented in the target language that they're learning. So if it's in the ESL program, the teacher will remain in English um, throughout the lesson and coach the students along so that they can learn how to communicate in the language. And if it was a Spanish for non-native speakers class, the teacher will endeavor to stay in Spanish the entire time. What that means is that every activity has to be put together in such a way so that we provide the language for the students to build their communication skills um, as we work with them in the curriculum. The curriculum that we use is called thematic teaching and it comes from the philosophy that has been developed since the early 1990s from a book called Languages and Children Making a Match. Um, thematic teaching is a very effective method in teaching language, whether it be Spanish, English, or otherwise, because it is a method that uses cultural themes to create a context in which then the students develop their communication skills. Um, and so in everything that we do, um, we try to create a context that's as close to the real experience that the students will have in the culture that they're entering into as possible. And the ultimate goal is for the kids to be able to have meaningful experiences in a Spanish-speaking community. And for the ESL program, the ultimate goal is to help the adults integrate themselves in the workforce and in every other area of mainstream America. We want uh, to show what, a, what uh, to be a Latino, a Latina is. We want them to have a, uh, a flavor or taste of our cultures. Uh, here we're not only Argentinians or uh, Colombians or Venezuelans and we want um, the American community to know about it and to see, we know that it's very important for them to, to learn about us. We in Westbury Language Center work together in order to integrate disciplines. We planning right now our summer 2004 and we decided that the children will need to be exposed to um, dancing and movement as a way of uh, uh, tapping on kinesthetic intelligence and being able to provide rhythms of the culture. Not only um, are we very diverse, but we are a very rich uh, culture because we have sounds that come from Africa, we have the sounds of Europe, and we have the sounds of the native uh, people of the continent. So the integration of both those three cultures have created a very rich um, perspective in the Latino community. And we would like this summer to be able to provide the experience for children in which they will feel the language. And we decided that children need to uh, listen to literature that comes from our culture, or stories that uh, bring images of you know who we are all about. And um, basically, our theme this summer is going to concentrate on um, two books that will be the center of our curriculum. And I envision a program in which we have the training necessary to reach out our community, to have better understanding of the diversity of the Latino community of the newcomers in the community of Westbury and the neighborhood communities. I envision a program in which we will be able to target the needs of our people. Education is the only way out. So Westbury Language Center dreams of being part of the transition of newcomers to the mainstream. And I know that in five years from now, um, I would like to have big buildings, not only to provide services for the parents who are learning uh, English, but also to be able to support in the, pre in the preservation of Spanish and to realize that our language is a very, very valuable tool. Uh, the Latino community represents 18% 18 of the population. 
And I, and my feeling is that if we empower that 18% of the population by providing uh, language skills that will help people better their jobs and be able to have uh, better opportunities, um, the children, the new generation that's coming behind is going to be empowered to really realize that if we preserve our language, we acquire a new language and we cross the bridge, we are going to fully participate in the economic development of Long Island because this is the area that we're trying to work. And if the Latino community is empowered in Long Island, will become the role model for many other communities in different places of the country. It is our belief that by promoting uh, language skills, we are integrating communities. We are bringing people together. By uh, the Latino community learning about mainstream America and uh, teaching the mainstream America about our culture, we are bringing two communities to come to understanding. It is my belief, and I believe that my friends in Westbury Language Center feel the same, that it is not to stress how different we are, but to stress that the problem is how indifferent we are. So if we get rid of the indifference and we realize how we are all the same, how we are facing a human experience, and that we are all here to learn from each other, and that is basically the heart and soul of Westbury Language Center. We are here to learn about each other and to understand that we are doing together and how we can, in a very positive way, share the, this country, share this community, and to be able to exchange what um, you know we were brought up with. Uh, people are going to still be alive in our culture. They said we keep them alive. So we got to bring the arts to life. We got to bring the dance to life. We got to bring the literature to life. We have a lot of you know Nobel prizes that we need to talk about. We need to remind our mm -hmm. children. We need the new generations to know that we had a Pablo Neruda, that we have a Garcia Marquez, mm -hmm. that we had Gabriela Mistral, that we have many many writers, Isabel poets, Allende. artists, Isabel Allende, eh, one of the latest ones. So that is what our center is going to be about. So in five years from now, the vision is to have a place in which children will walk in and they will get a picture of what who we, what we are all about. The children will walk in and will get a picture, a feeling that we belong to something bigger than ourselves. And our, and our vision and our dream is to provide a place in which people will come to visit America Latina in five minutes, in 10 minutes. You don't have to go too far to realize that um, we're a rich culture. It will take you just a few minutes to walk into our center, and our vision is to be able to build a place in which anyone from any community can come and learn about Bye. 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 Bye.